that's not good. How you doing? Good evening, everyone. Waving to you all. XX Sinox the DMA Kwa Winna Korfa. How you doing? Tonight we are discussing the one. <clears throat> Eddie, you are here. Bear me one second. Bear me one second. It's too bright. It's too bright. Oh, still set up. We are running a few minutes late, but have mercy on us. We are here. Good to see you all. Can't wait. <laughs> you can't wait. Oh, someone can't wait. You might hear something you don't want to hear, though. You might you might be disappointed, but here we go. We're going to bring Eddie in now. I know. Good morning. Good morning to Eddie. Good morning, Mr. Sun. That's bright. Turn down a bit. That's better, isn't it? Pepper, trees are green. Yes, trees are. <laughs> I didn't realize you were tag teaming me. What do you mean? <laughs> I thought it was just me and you, Curtis. When I saw we need to sit down, I was like, oh no. Oh, you know what? I can't go to bed, you know? It has been a hard day. <laughs> Eddie, 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 you know. Um, yeah, when he, uh, when he, I wanted to be a part of something. Yeah, I haven't even got any fire ones for you. I'm just praying for the downloads, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm praying for the downloads. <laughs> this week, I've been in the garden all day, and I was like, the bed is calling now, but I <laughs> am <Yeah>. here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here. All right. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> But good morning. Yes, it is morning. What's the time? Um, it's five past six. Wow. Five in a cuppa. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that is sacrifice right there. It is now um, yeah, 9 p.m. Custard cream. Ooh. Custard creams in Australia. Hey, listen. Don't ramp with it, man. <laughs> hey. That is the number one biscuit right there. Number one. Number, number one. one. Yeah. I like to tear off the top though with my teeth. <laughs> yeah, and go for that cream solo. And hey, listen. <laughs> We're just waiting for a few more to jump on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And gather ourselves. Oh my days, mix his hair. Mix his hair. Hey, what's up, girl? The mic doesn't, my cuts off. <laughs> so, wait, what are you looking at when you look to your right or left? My um. Oh. And then what are you looking at when you look at us? Oh, you got two. I got my iPad. Okay. Oh, okay. Serious. All right. Serious, serious. As, you know, I just want you bigger in and in, in your glory. <laughs> <laughs> the people are hungry. Oh Lord. Yeah. So. We're going to tackle an interesting topic. I think it's behind the scenes. It's one of those, Gus, Pastor Gus here, he's here. Um, it's one of those topics that it lurks does. in the background of people's minds. It's a topic um, that I think is, is uh, it precedes a lot of heartache. Mm. <clears throat> and I think that this topic also represents... Um, people's perception of who God is and how he works. Mm. You feel me? Um, we're, we're looking at the one. Is there such a thing as the one? We're going to be looking at, is there such a thing? We're going to define it. We're going to look at the implications of the notion of it, the concept. And we're going to have a real frank discussion about... Our differences on the our, one. Our differences, you know? <laughs> Um, what's what's um 
Am I am I doing a uh, relationship counselling session here? Or? No, no, not in front of everyone. Nah. <laughs> you know, we're too wise for that. <laughs> we need this, man. We're doing it properly. We're doing it. We're sort of. I wanted to ask, although we ask it all the time, how is quarantine life? So far. Because uh, things change week to week, even though they stay the same. Um, I think. Well, actually, here, here, here in here in Australia, they're beginning here in New South Wales, th throughout some of the other states, they're beginning to just roll back some of the restrictions. Yeah, uh -huh. kids are going back into school. Um, um, kids started going back into school from yesterday. Okay. Um, they're, they're, it, well, actually, it was optional. But um, they're actually like, you no, know, kids are like, no, you're all going back from next week. Like, all wow. At us, you know. So, and they're they 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 they're seeking to figure out what what that looks like now. As far as they're they're not going to allow for things like big sporting events or, you know, churches will still remain closed. Yeah, I think they're going to try to find a way to put on sporting events before they open up churches again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <you know. laughs> um, but um uh oh luke you finally made it <laughs> luke finally made it um but um yeah i think bit by bit they're starting to roll it back we don't know what that means yet for <laughs> um restaurants cafes etc um but yeah so they're trying to get some kind of normalcy back things ain't going to be normal um we still haven't gone above a hundred deaths across the oh, world. Good. Oh, yeah, which has been phenomenal, you know. Um, but once again, without trying to giving thanks, really giving thanks, and um, and it's still being cautious. We're going into winter, so we haven't yeah. met our season of it yet. I'm still okay. convinced. We haven't met our season of COVID. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm seriously convinced we haven't met our um, season of COVID yet. So, you know, giving thanks, cautiously optimistic. Yeah. Uh, cautiously optimistic. You saw, if you saw yesterday, you saw where um, Rhea and I went. We, we went and had some exercise, drove down to Bar Beach, walked yeah. around this massive hill. And, you know, so people are getting out. They haven't really, um, re really. They haven't. Um, um, uh, what's the word I want? They haven't lifted restrictions in terms of like you can chill at the beach or you sit at the you know sit at all the tables or benches. All yeah. of those things still cordoned off. Like okay. you, know, you can come here, you can stand up for a minute, but keep on moving. Yeah, it's yeah. Not, you know surfers are out. You know, because you know they count that as exercise. Get in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, get in there. Do your exercise. Do your surf. Do your bodyboard. Get out. Go home. You wow. Know? So, yeah. So yeah. Never argue with that. <laughs> like, all right, sweet. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So that's where it is. And for us, um, yeah, we're getting on with it. We're getting on yeah. with it. With us as a family, you know, with with. You know, we've made normal out of the new normal a while yeah. now, and so yeah, yeah we just. I think um, again, the last time we spoke was on your anniversary, and <laughs> nothing's changed in Croydon, bro. <laughs> it's, there's no quarantine in Croydon. Are you serious? <laughs> if you just look out the window, you will see what you know. People will be wearing masks or, or whatever, but. They're playing team sports with bare, with bare chests. <laughs> There's some baby, man. It's a different world. Isn't team it? sports with bare chests playing Ludi. <laughs> Ludo, Ludo. Ludo, I know it as, but the Jamaicans have told me it's Ludi. With a glass board and a wooden frame. Yes, on, on roads. Twelve guys on a park bench. Yeah. With a glass. Right, they can wipe it down. They can wipe it yeah. down without don't keep infection. <laughs> and they draw up the van with the two speaker box inside there. Yep. And they let it rip. 
<laughs> so that is quarantine in, in, in Croydon. South London. Yeah. South London. It's a little bit different here. No surfing. There's no surfing. Apart on the internet. There's no surfing. But you can play Ludi in the park. I guarantee you they ain't doing that in South End. But they're doing it in South London. You know? yeah, no. Right? You could play Ludi in the park and then draw yourself something whilst you wait. You get me? So this is a situation. But we give thanks anyway. We're, we're grateful. We're, gra we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. I'm sick of Croydon. Who said that? <laughs> Daniel Cable. You said you're sick of Croydon. I mean... You don't even live here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Who's that? <laughs> you're fans, mate. Adrian lives in suburbia, doesn't he? Like, where's Adrian? Yeah. Who's like, that? like, like, what's Kent Way? Who's it? Uh, let me not even let me not even judge because I'm not even sure where Adrian lives, man. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are, man. We're we're gonna we're gonna talk about an interesting topic. The one mm -hmm. it's been something that's probably come up the most in terms of external conversation as a result of as a result of these sessions. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna throw a definition at you, bro. Mm -hmm. um, I looked on a website, a matchmaking website. Oh lord. And a part of their definition, not for me, <laughs> but a part of the definition was finding the perfect match. <laughs> but I think for Christians, I leave it as black as that. Go on. There's a supernatural element. Okay. Yeah. God finds it in the perfect match. Um. Everyone's the perfect match. Straight in. Straight in. I ain't even got a wicker. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, everyone, everyone is the perfect match. Um, do, you know, do you know, I think one of the things that we don't do in society, one of the things that we attempt to do in the church, I'm not sure how well we do it, is um, to teach emotional literacy mm. and to teach um, emotional and, and, and mental resilience. I, I don't think we give enough time or we give we don't we don't give enough we don't place enough emphasis on the fact that people need time to grow yeah they they just need time to grow mm -hmm. people need time to grow out of their inherited mess the stuff <laughs> that's come down through their dna they need time to grow out of the stuff that they've developed themselves in terms of their concepts of self their concepts of others things that have become complicated or notions that have become complicated because of family history because of cultural environment um, because of our ability to access so many false narratives uh, like porn um, yeah. and, <laughs> you know and and so I believe that everyone is the one, but we don't teach people what it means to mine for the one. You've got to mine in order to find the one. The one is a golden nugget that's in all of us. Uh -huh. And the, the one is, you can get to the one eventually, but to find that perfect match, you know, that, that, that makes you initially just lazy i just want to find a person that i don't want to put no work in i want yeah. to find it right like, really all right well literally if you watch westworld you will find that person because you can actually create that person yeah. um, person is a robot and you will program them and you're good but if you watch real life no that that person takes that person takes time that person takes work that person takes tears, that person takes prayers. And the one actually begins with you in a relationship, not the one you're looking for. Ooh. 
that's where the one begins with. The one begins with you. And, you know, you actually find somebody who who sees that you're a safe space for them to put that work in on themselves with you, wow. you know, and, and put it into that space. So I think we don't teach that. And because we don't teach that, people don't realize that, no, the one takes time. The one takes time, the one takes work. Um, I don't know if that we have that type of patience. I think mm -hmm. that we're really bad we're, we're taught bad ideas of love. Yeah. Bad ideas of love. Even in the church, we're just taught really bad ideas of love, you know, and, um, and, and what love. We're, we're taught the ideal, but we're not taught how to work the ideal in the reality of humanity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And the ideal So, is so can, I, can, I, can I ask, the ideal then looks like that list that us women may have of the man we want that's the ideal yeah, but the, and, the reality and, is, is i mean and the reality of that idea of that ideal is the flip side that you may have a portion of that list but maybe he's earning 16 grand as mm. opposed to three figures yeah but he's yeah still, he's still all that and more yeah discard the whole list because he doesn't reach up to the ideal yeah yeah but yeah up to it I, I i feel you know don't take don't 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 even sleep on the notion that men have that list just like women have the list wow. <laughs> men have yeah men have men have men have a list that is equal to what a woman has you yeah. know what i mean that's why when a woman's heart breaks she'll key his car she'll troll she'll cry she'll do all that kind of stuff you know um, but then eventually she kind of like moves on. When a yeah. man meets with the same heartbreak, what does he do? He harms himself and he goes and harms the woman. If they've got children, he goes and kills himself, kills the woman, kills the children. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's true. And it's the same level of disappointment that takes place when that emotional trauma of the list is dashed or burned, you know? So... Yeah. Yeah, I, it's I, I, it's a gradual thing. I believe it's it's a gradual thing. I believe that you ain't gonna find that person immediately. I believe that you're gonna you ain't gonna find the one in that person immediately. I think what the one is the notion of the one. You know that notion of the truly madly deeply. You know truly madly deeply. I think the one is the person that you know. You initially meet and you think, all right, I could put the work in with this person. <laughs> yeah, I, I can, yeah. I can look down, I can look down, you know, mm -hmm. uh, look down the, the future of my life, 10, 15 years down the road. I could see this person and I could put the work in with that person and the working on myself with that person. Yeah. Um, because love is hard. Love is the hardest thing that we do. So you're saying, in essence, that the one is about self-work on yourself, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So it's the recognizing... One, the one... The, the, I'm looking for the one, but I am the one. Yes. Everyone is the one. The, I, the, but the question is, are you willing to put in that work on this one in order to find the one in that one. Mm. So, so it responds. I believe that it responds. Okay. Me, the one in me responds to what I see in Yvonne. The one in Yvonne responds to what mm. she sees in me. You know yes. what I mean? And out of that, we build that love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We build that yeah. In that space of safety and just grow there. You know, and so yeah, that 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 that's what I believe. So, so how do you think we should respond to someone who has the belief that there is one person that God is preparing them for? I know that this question has many dimensions, but where, where, where's your where's your thoughts yeah, on that? I believe there is one person that God is preparing for you, but it's not one actual person. <laughs> 
there is one concept of what that person can be. Ah. Caring for you. Yeah. There is one concept of what that person can be that God is preparing for you. But if you go elusively looking for that one person, then you're lazy. Wow. Because you're the perfect person without the work of without the work of love. Mm -hmm. And you don't get love for free. Mm -hmm. Not in a world as shagged up as ours. <laughs> Not in a world as shagged up as this. I mean, yes. I mean, ask Jesus himself, you know. The people who loved him, loved him. And the people who didn't love him, crucified him. And mm -hmm. he was for both of them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. A bit of to respond to that love, you know. Um, and so, like, yeah, it's, yeah, I, I don't believe that there is one singular person, you know. Before Yvonne, I met the one. Before Yvonne, I met the one and I was with the one for five years. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the one just turned into <laughs> that one. Um, <laughs> And it and it didn't work out, and it didn't work out. And so when, when I, I remember when 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 the Lord, um, changed, just basically changed my mind. And I, at twenty five, when it when He found me again at twenty five, and I remember saying, "All right, Lord, this isn't what I want," because we look for what we want, but we don't look for what we need, and. Yes. I feel like what we need is based on that kind of correspondent of the person that we truly want to be in the world. We, you know, life attracts life and we, we want to, we want to find that. And remember I told you the story. It was, you know, with my dad, when my dad had the stroke that, you know, cause he was an alcoholic. Yeah. And, um, Yvonne and, and my friend, um, my next friend, my real close friend, then um, both him and Yvonne came and helped me clean up my dad's place. Yeah, but I, I, I was the one who did the bathroom because it was so bad in there. I didn't. I was embarrassed. And up to this time, Yvonne had never even met my dad. Mm -hmm. Just told him that this is what had happened to my dad, and and they, I said, I'm just gonna go around there clean up. And they said, No, we'll come with you. We'll come with you. And it was when I saw Yvonne come into the room, you know, with, you know, a big bin bag and a soiled pair of trousers that my dad had and yes. said, look, a few of them in there and I'm just going to throw them. But I've got two bags of clothes out there and I'm going to wash them. I'm going to wash his bed in and I'm going to bring it back. Yeah. My heart immediately, she was the one. Wow. Yeah. Now, yeah, and you remember at the time, remember, my friend liked her. Yes. She liked my friend, and her friend liked me. So we were best friends trying to set each other up with our best friends. Yeah. So with Yvonne, it's not like, it wasn't like, yeah, she is the one personally, but she is the person, is the person that I am looking for, that level of empathy. That's what I want to be. I want to have that level of empathy. I want to have that level of love. I actually need that level of empathy and love in my life. I, that is that, because she had never met my dad, but her yeah. willingness to show that type of love for my dad at that time, you know what I mean? Having never met him, but because she had met me, her, my dad now became important to her. Um, so I believe that there is that person so in my mind i was like all right whichever woman i talk to yvonne is the standard if you wow. don't meet criteria if you ain't that one don't even talk to me yeah <laughs> yeah uh, um and then eventually eventually in the process of time um you know i became her one and she became my one that we were willing to put the work in, you know, and, and we've had to put the work in over 27 years. So I'm looking at it like a pie chart. When you were there cleaning that your dad's flat, what percent was it? Was it like a percentage of the one she became? 
in your mind or was it like this is an element of the one I want or is it like she is the one? It became like a, a, a massive slice of, all right, I knew that my heart was moving in that direction of the level of empathy, um, the, the, the level of, um, she was, the level of safety I found in her with the vulnerability of actually looking at, you know, not only looking at my father, but looking at me through my father. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, seeing where I've come from. The lineage. And, you know, and yeah. being comfortable. Down oh, right. no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I see where you've come from. I see, you know what I mean, what you've been raised. Well, you weren't raised around it because your dad wasn't there, but I, I, I see, but yeah. I'm good. You're safe, don't worry. What I see here is safe with me. You know what I mean, and um, and so that that level of that um, level of trust that I felt in being allowing myself to be that vulnerable, um, the level of um, respect for um, a person that she had never met, and a level of care for a person that she had never met. Um, mm. I thought it because I just realised that what I had been involved in with the one, yes. Was we're kind of selfish, self-preservation is love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was okay. a very self-preservation. Um, and with 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 Trice, I realized, yeah, I, I can actually put the work in here. I, I can put the journey in here. I could park. I could park my heart here, and and watch it grow. You know, can you do the work before you even identify that could potentially be the one? Or what work can you do? I think you could do the mental. I think you could do the. I think you can do the mental math of what it's going to take. <laughs> I think you could do. Um, I think you can do the personal self-assessment of. All right, am I in the place where I'm willing to go as deep as this person looks like they can take me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, um, am I willing to go as far as this person looks like they're willing to go? You know, am I willing to be as open as this person, you know, obviously looks like they're willing to be with me. And I think that work, mm. I think work you can do pre to even actually being with that person. You know, if that person shows you, if that person shows you the essence of who they are, if that person shows you the heart of who they are, um, <clears throat> Um, then, then yeah, I, I think you can do that pre-work. Somebody yeah. said, well, everyone, what well, if you never find any semblance of the one? Um, but then you have to actually, I, I believe that you have to just think about what it, how it is that you're looking. Do you know what I mean? And if you're still looking on the kind of superficial things, that they have to look a certain way. Yeah. They have to, have to you know, have a certain thing. Um, they have to make you laugh. Yeah. Um, they have all that are, I think th those things are important um, eventually. Mm. Yeah. You know, you, well, you know, you've known me, you've both known me and my journey with, with trees. You know, yeah. literally, one met me, I didn't have a pot to piss in. Yeah. A window. Yeah, a window to do what? <laughs> or a window to throw it out of. Oh, all know? right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and um, but she had the emotional maturity and the emotional resilience to yeah. see beneath, to see beyond all of that, and to see the person that um, God was creating in me. Mm -hmm. and I was willing to take the journey with that person. Mm -hmm. um, and so, yeah, it's it's. That, that's why I remember with, with the one, you know. What I mean? You got you got my cogs turning because I <laughs> I remember um, leaving it to God after a while and saying I ain't doing a good job at this. You manage it for me, um, and then you know wasn't even worried about it. Wasn't on the dating scene or anything like that. Wasn't looking or anything like that. And what started to come up for me was a lot of self work about my father in my life mm. 
you know, his impact of being there and not being there. Do you know what I mean? Um, his, his role in how I would choose, you know what I mean? His influence on who I would choose, all mm. of that stuff would come to me very strong at that time, just before I met Kurt. Mm. And I found that it was a lot of work, but that work still continues 20 years on, mm -hmm. 45 years later, still dealing with daddy issues, still doing that work that I started with. So I thought, I'm doing this work, then I meet Kurt, then I'm like, oh, the work's over. Then the work begins. The work really <laughs> started to begin because he was a contrast to my dad. And then it was like trying to work that out. Then when the kids come, it's an even more stark contrast. Like, well, hang on, you sit, you sit down, you esteem the girls, you, you read the boys' stories, you take them for bike rides, you, you have long chats with them, you rock them to sleep, do you know what I mean? And I thought that that work would have been, I would have been prepared, I was being prepared, I would have been prepared for the one, just as I met Kurt. But that worked for me. So the one work can still be ongoing even when you find the one, I'm telling you, sometimes you're not even prepared for what it means to love the one once you find the one. Yeah. You're like, oh my Lord, I have to go that deep. <laughs> like, yes. oh my Lord, I have to do all of that. Like, you know, I, I, I think our concepts, especially, and, and the fear is in the age in which we live where everything is instant, everything is now, and everything is yes. Everything is yes. Um, that we, 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 um, we will want that instant person. We will want that instant person without the work. Yeah. There is a lot of self work that has to go. There is a lot of self work that has to go into love. There is a lot of self work that has to go into life. There is a lot of a lot of it and if we're not willing to do that work, if we're not willing to do the level of honesty about our weaknesses and about just our humanity and, and the parts of ourselves that we hate, but we're willing to, um, you know, and, and, and our need to deal with those parts of ourselves and stay in this place with this person who's willing to do that work with me. Um, then I think the, fifth, the, 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 the problem of this age is that we're constantly going to be looking for that instant ready to go. Yes. And that person just does not exist. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure that person just does not exist. Mm -hmm. There is no instant ready to go. There is an instant ready to work. There is an instant ready to journey. There yes. is an instant. But you ain't going to find that whole perfect person and that whole perfect package. Can't happen. No. I, it would be off-putting anyway. Because if I still got the work to do and you done <laughs> did yours, I'd be vexed. Yeah. I want to journey with you. Do you know what I mean? Just sitting back, just having a cuppa, just like come on, <laughs> get on with your get on with your daddy issues. Get on with your other issues. Do you know what I mean? I won't want it. I want the journey together. But I do understand, as I said, that it the preparation continues. I mean, I, I appreciate a lot of what you're saying about putting the work in. Um, something that's come up of late is um, a number of times is a list that people will create of who they want. Um, my list was quite short, still unrealistic, but quite short. But what was interesting was because um, uh, I want a tall woman. Oh. <laughs> but um, you, you know what? Taller, um, I remember... taller, than you. taller than you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, can't say that with that. We're not in that. <laughs> we're not in that tall, tall business. You didn't want that woman to look up to. No, no, that, that's not the one. That is not the one. I'm telling you that now. It's late. Um, but yeah, so so I remember I I lived at my grand at the time, and like you, what did I really have when I met Juanita? And thankfully, she didn't have a list of. He has to be earning or he has to be in a certain position, which is an interesting thing. Mm. But when she, I invited her, we were going to link up. So she came up to my house. My mum my mom had a list though. A long list. We'll come to that. We'll come to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yeah cool, cool. And 
she, Monia's walking up and she's wearing a semi hop gear, right? Tight dress. Half right, half right. It wasn't even half. It wasn't even half. And when, it wasn't even a, 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 a right, half righteous car that he was wearing either. But you know what? She, walk, she walks up to the house. I see her coming and I meet her. And, I, and I'm at the front door and she's at the gate when I see her. And I looked at her and I live in, with my grand who's about, at that eight, time, eight, about 85 ish. Yeah. yeah. And no, 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 70, 70, yeah. late 70. So standards, you know? And I'm looking at Winnie and thinking, you can't wear that in there, man. And I was saying, I ain't going to. Let me tell you, I didn't say anything. She put on her cardigan as she stepped in the house. Standard. I understand what I'm trying to say. And that was that was 30 days in. Mm. And it was at that point in, I said, she's the one. Why did I say that? Just one principle. She got her self-respect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But not only that, she's got respect for the environment she's stepping into. Automatic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not now, though. It's all gone out the window. <laughs> yeah, we'll tell you. Some issues there. I mean, once that was on it, she was like, nah, loud. I'm in. Whatever, man. I'm in up this environment now, man. Any home, it's <laughs> and, and this is the thing. I, I knew she was the one. And I said to myself, with that principle, I am sure I can make some cake out there. Mm. And, and, and it's the importance of having a fair list. Interestingly, even me as a dad, I've got a very long list for my daughter. Mm. I'm, I'm chopping it down because I'm getting humble. But mm. sometimes our parents have lists for us. They have a, the one or a standard. Yeah, my mum had a list for me because the time when I just started to see her, um, there was an old boyfriend on the scene and he had just finished his master's, just bought a house. And she was looking out for me. It was the best for me. Like, he said, do you know what I mean? And I was like, don't need anybody to be set. I'll, I'll, I'll be set with them. Um, you know, and Kurt was, um, you know, with me. He didn't have as much education as the young, as the young man did, mm -hmm. but was more intelligent anyway. Okay. And just had, a, had, had the heart that I wanted, had the ambition and the goals that I wanted to see. Do you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. even though that person had the paperwork, mm -hmm. it was like, you're still not ticking the boxes for me. And there weren't many boxes. Yeah. There weren't many. Yeah. No, he I didn't have the person work. Yeah. No, he didn't have the person work. But my mum was, I could see what she was trying to do. It's what I would do for my girls. It's like, look, this is a good setup for you. You don't have to strive as hard as I did. But I do, she did understand that it was a decision I had to make. And then she met Kurt and saw the heart of Curtis. I remember when she went in the kitchen cupboard and took out the rolling pin. Yes. <laughs> and, and Kurt had to um, get down on one knee. And she lifted up the rolling pin of Barbie's head. And she dropped two taps on each shoulder. I did and it, she yeah. said, I'm giving you the golden scepter. You get me like... Little. You, you get bringing. You yeah. get me? In her own way. And she could see um, our, pro our progress together and how we were working towards what we thought was the one, what we valued as the one, her opinion um, was second place and she was all right with that after a while. Do you know what I mean? She understood the value was not placed on a master's and a house. She knew that deep down. She was just trying to have me set up nicely. Yeah, yeah. You know I, what I, I mean? I, I feel like we'll all have, I'm not sure what my lists um, for Rhea are yet. Mm -hmm. Um for me, at the moment, they're, they're, they're just very simple things <coughs> with the way the person greets me. Number one. <laughs> it's, like, it's straight off. Yeah. You know, if the person greets me in an overly familiar way, then oh. then for me, I'm all right. Well, you're, you're going to be just too relaxed with too many things that concern me, that concern our value system <laughs> and that concern my child. If you're going to be overly familiar with me when you meet me for the first time as a grown man, that means you're going to be seeking to be over familiar with my child out of my presence. Wow. Um, and, hey. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. I could, you know, if a, if a guy can't look me straight in the eye. Now, I do know I live within a region in which um, different people deal with different things in looking, looking at an adult straight in the eye you know what i mean so 
um, and if and if they're different from different cultural backgrounds, yeah, um, or different ethnic backgrounds, then I'll, I'll I'll understand that and I'll be able to read that. But if you're from a different ethnic background, I will be able to tell straight off whether or not you're raised within the value system of of your people. Yes. Yeah. No, so talk to me. You have shifty eyes. <laughs> right. You need to leave now. You know? <laughs> I'm serious, you know. And yeah. then Yvonne, Yvonne's one, like, you know, if you want to be a fashionista, but you come into the house wearing um, a belt and braces, now nah, you need to leave. <laughs> I get that. Braces. I... No, nah, that one, they're confused. No. <laughs> get, get, your, get your mind right. Listen. Mind right, you know? <laughs> too, too many colors. <laughs> too, too many colors can't work. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bro, you got any questions that you want to read through? Oh, no, somebody just said, did you find that your prayer life um, had increased? Someone said, if you pray twice a day, so now you must pray four times a day. <laughs> yeah, pray four times a day about yourself. <laughs> you pray twice a day about yourself, you know, pray four times a day about yourself. I, you know, sometimes in that search for the one um, or anyone, we look for that person as the primary thing in our life when that person isn't the primary thing in our life. Having that person is actually the secondary thing in our life. Mm -hmm. Maybe even the third thing in our life. But because we put it all the way up front there, we do not achieve the things. We're not growing in the spaces. We're not exploring the things that are supposed to be primary. And I honestly do believe that in the exploration, in the journey of those things that are supposed to be primary in our life, um, we find that person along that journey. You know what I mean? Because it's in the exploration of the things that are primary in our life, that are supposed to be primary in our life, that we do the deepest growth. Yes. We do the, yeah, we find our, we find our, our, our deep and self, sense of, of self-worth. We find our best prayers. We find our most honest prayers. Yeah. We find our, our true empathy. We find our true capacity for patience. Um, we find um, the mechanisms that enable us to deal with the things that we've grown up with. You know, um, you know that, that, that concept of my, you know, that counsel of my dad when, um, uh, I was about to say Ria, when Yvonne and I um, first got married. No, when at our engagement party, stand your ground and fight your battles like a man. Yeah, yeah. You know? And and me, 15 years into the marriage, realizing exactly what he was talking about. Like, I see you. And that's what you're simply saying. I see you, Eddie. And you are an apple that has not fallen. You, you've fallen at the base of my tree. And everything that's in me, I can already see it in you. Yeah. you know, even if I haven't raised you, I can see it in you. And you need to stand your ground and fight your battles like a man. When what is in our DNA pops up, you need to stand. That's a, that sounds like that sounds like a Star Wars moment. It that whole that whole speech what you gave, you know what I mean? Literally, it was literally. Can I read it to you? Yes, you can. Can I? Can I? Can I read it to you? Can I read it to you? Mm. Uh, um, let, let, let me read it to you. Um, uh, he was telling me that he knew who I was. He was saying that he knew the potential propensities that lay dormant inside me. He knew my life. Um, he knew that life um, would present Yvonne and I with pressure and that his way of dealing with pressure um, and, and his and love's obligation could possibly become my way of dealing with it. And he was saying, don't run. Don't allow your mind, your body, and your heart to run. He was, in fact, saying, I should stay in this space. I, I would soon be blessed to occupy and build that legacy of love. Um, and I, Stay in that space, I would soon be blessed to occupy and build my legacy of love and family in that space. Protect that space. Fight for that space. Eliminate anything and everything that would break that space and pull me away from that space. I should fight like a person who knows the value of what they have 
and stands to lose should they walk away from it. Stand your ground and fight your battles like a man. And mm. it was 15 years, 15 years into it that I realized that. Um, 27 years later, um, mm. I'm still having to stand my ground and fight my battles like a man because um, doing that one work never stops. Yes. Doing that one stops now people may listen to all of that and like oh man that's drudgery no that ain't drudgery bunda bunda mm -hmm. out there in your head yeah it's, not drudgery. it's just life we, we we are naturally created as human beings to love whether yeah. it be in whether it be in community you know whether it be socially we're, we're just created in that way and so even if you never meet that person that you have intimate relationships with um, you know, it's still you, you still have to put the work in to have good friends. Mm. You have to be a good friend. Yeah. You have to put the in to do the journey with best friends. Mm. To do that, that's what life is. You know what I mean? So, um, being in that space of of being in that space of of journey, I don't think that we 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 have to work. You have to work to be in that space. Yeah. You have to be in that space. But it's beautiful work. It's life work. It's, it's, yeah. it's worth it work. It's, it's work. journey. Yeah, it's worth it work. It's yeah. a journey. You know what I mean? Um, um, but if there well, a human has to work. A human has to work to experience humanity. So it's everybody's working. If you're a parent, if you're a colleague at work, do you know what I mean? If you're a yeah. neighbor, we or are working, doing some self-work. But I suppose the deepest work is when you're in close proximity, yeah. in close relationships where you're rubbing on each other. That's the deepest work. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, you know what, let, let, let me ask a question. A um, question someone has asked is, what if there are a lot of things that a person doesn't match up to? For example, there are qualities they may be missing and some they do have but but have less mm. but i have less mm -hmm. as well. but no it's just have mm. if a person doesn't have it straight off then they don't have it the question is are they willing to add to it are they willing to grow into that mm -hmm. do they have the potential to grow into that are they willing to grow into that can you see their journey i told you i've got one but he's kind of gone past I've got one, but he's kind of gone past. <laughs> I can cut it out. Hey! You can reach me by the This will be the edit though. You're funny. At least if you're drinking something, you should share it. You can't drink, drink and keep to yourself. Let's, let's wave. Yeah, let's be waving, man. We're gonna answer a question, people. So yeah, that's gonna be tricky, I think. Well, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna ask because that. you thought that they were the one, and then you're finding that actually. Mm -hmm. <laughs> found, yeah, what, 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 what you not, what you found out? Yeah. They said they found the one, yeah, and then now it's not working with that one, right? So, so oh, bro, you, you're talking, so yeah, go, go ahead. Um. Well, if you if if you if you found a one, um, and it's not working out, if that one is not willing to put that work in on themselves, um, they're not willing to put that work in with you. They're not willing to put that work in with with the relationship. They're not willing to, um, yeah. If it's if it's all one sided then you can't love in that space. Yeah. Love is other-centered by its very nature. Love loves first. Love loves first. Wow. Uh, and love, love seeks love. first, you know, um, by, by its very nature. But love also knows that it can, it can easily turn into obsession. That is the object of its desire is not willing to put that work in also. Do you know what I mean? Love, love, 
love is strong enough and love is clear enough and love is certain enough to know, all right, I can't help here. You, you need to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You, you need to go. Yeah. Lo love is clear on that. Love is clear on that. And so if you are with that person and it hasn't worked out because, you know, and you, you've got to question why isn't it working out? Um, what is it about the person that it's not making it work out? What is it about you that doesn't want to work it out with this person? What is it about the relationship that isn't going anywhere? What is it about the way in which you both choose to love that is 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 dysfunctional or toxic or just it may not even be any of those things it's just now we don't work and i think once you've once you've answered those questions and once you've defined what that is um you got to love enough you got to love the idea of love enough and you've got to love love enough um you've got to love yourself enough and you've even got to love the person enough to say, look, you need to go find this with someone else. Wow. Yeah. And, there's no, another one out, and there's another one out there then. Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. You know, I think what it is is, especially once you've been with somebody for a long time, you think about all the work you've got to do again. Oh, man, I've got to go through getting to know in the journey. Just, uh I've got to do all of this. <laughs> Off again, meet the parents, meet the siblings, uh, uh, you know, and that's why you want to get on eBay and just find the ready, like ready to go. <laughs> you know, what I mean? well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you don't want to put the work in, but the work is life. The work is life. Yeah, yeah, work is life. Yeah, and and I hear what you mean, Meeks. Meeks said, "Yeah, that part, man." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that part. Like you're like. That part. Yeah, yeah, and it, be, it becomes like that, but, um, you know, and then, you know, you have the fear in the mind, like, all right, mm -hmm. once I put in all the work, is it going to be the same result? <laughs> yeah. Once I do all that bidding, am I going to lose out, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 mm -hmm. you know, and so I think that's why we first, that's why we fast, we fast circuit, um, we fast circuit um, <laughs> that problem with, with, you know, you know, we think um, we fast circuit with sex. We definitely fast circuit with sex. I mean, yeah. She's the, you know what I mean? Because she does things like no one's ever done for me. Yeah. He, he's the one because boy, yeah, he can bring that. You know what I mean? Um, and so we, we use those fast circuit. We use those fast circuit. Um, we use those um, fast circuit techniques. But yes. Yeah, those are physical things, you know. My mum always used to say, um, you know, sex doesn't bring love. Love brings sex. Mm. Never really understood that. But, like, yeah, eventually I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I get uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get, I get it now. I get it now. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, so, yeah, if, if, you, if you don't, if you're not willing, you know. I remember one time seeing, seeing this. This this girl, real deep spiritual girl, you know, and she had a mind. This guy, you know what I mean? And she was like, no, this is the person that God has chosen for me to marry. This is the person that God has chosen for me to be with, you know. I, I, all right then, I said, did God tell that person that? Because you know, the person's dating this person over here, and they're about. To I you know, like, yes, I know, but this is still the person that God has chosen for me. The person went on and married somebody else and got, went on, got on with their life. Yeah, yeah. You still waiting for that person? Yeah. Yeah, over-spiritualize foolishness. Don't over-spiritualize yeah. session. Yes. You know? Because you can, you can, you can, you can, you can spiritualize obsession and put God in the middle of it and God is like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Uh, no, it's not. You, you could go and say, "God told you to burn the, to go and boil the bunny." Do you know what I mean? In the rock. You know, it's like what you're expecting God to do now is break up a union, so your prayers yeah. can be answered. Like, I never understand that. Yeah, God has brought them together. So what does God do now? God break them up. God, yeah, they got picnic now. So what's going yeah. to be God? 
it's, it's, it's really, um, I come do you know this, this, your obsession. This, this leads us on to a question I had um, what are the mental health implications of believing that there is the one um, that there is one person out there and you might be even looking at that one have an approach, have a scene, or the, the circumstances aren't quite right while you're not in a relationship. How would that affect us emotionally and mentally? Let's, let's look at that aspect. Um, I, think, I think one of the, 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 the problems of... I think one of the problems of only ever looking for that elusive one person is that you only ever have superficial relationships, social wow. or emotional, with, with, with other people. Because, wow. and, and, and I say that because what you do is that you actually skip past anything that you don't like. Wow. Yeah. It's like, oh, I saw that, 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 that. Oh, no, no, this ain't the one. I saw that, that, that. Oh, no, that, that ain't the one. I saw this, <laughs> oh, the one. <laughs> Like, and you're looking for that person with absolutely no, no, no faults, no, no, um, like no faults, um, no problems, no issues. You know, if you're within the church community, like deep and deep and spirituality, you know, that deep, like, yeah, she prays, <laughs> you know, and a man. So, so I was an intern at Brixton. I remember when I was an intern at Brixton, there was this guy. All the women them in the church them love him off. And he spiritual. He used to walk up to women and said, The Lord has told me that I should speak to you. Okay. Yeah, that part yeah, 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 yeah. Ishan. And and this was going on for months. And then it came to our attention at the eldership. Oh, you know what I mean? Because, uh, yeah, because what this guy was doing was now taking money from these women and whatnot. And I was like, you know. You couldn't get me, mate. You know me, one. You know me, king. You know what I mean? I Bro, couldn't take I it. I could smell that. I, I couldn't take it. I walked up to him one day in church, just personally, face to face, and I said, The Lord has told me that if you approach. <laughs> other woman with that line again that I'm to punch you in your mouth <laughs> come on man <laughs> he, he calmed all the way down he loved that revelation yo because because, because we're, dealing, we're, dealing with, we're dealing with sex and power here yeah I'm, I'm serious I'm serious and so the whole idea you know I think, Delhi, I think that's why Pastor, I think that's why Dr. Henry was like, no, we've got to get you to form your own church, man. We <laughs> I've got a church plant in Project. Yeah, you go over there and you, you yeah. do that. <laughs> Brixton ain't able for that, man. You've got to get a bit more ghetto down there. I feel like, um, I feel like the mental health and the emotional implications is that we, we, we do not grow and I think going all the way back, we do not grow a deepened sense of spiritual literacy. Um, we do not grow a deeper sense of emotional literacy, self-efficacy. I think it affects ourself, you know what I mean? Our ability to build self-efficacy. I think it, 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 it really destroys our ability to um, actually understand God and understand God in a healthy way. You know Sorry, I mean? before you say any more, please explain... Uh, spiritual, define spiritual literacy, emotional literacy, and emotional literacy. You know what I mean? I think spiritual and emotional literacy is understanding what it actually means to be spiritual. Understand what it means to be spiritual, and when I say spiritual, in terms of um, the way in which you approach faith within within the reality of life. Spiritual in terms of the way in which you um, approach. The living of, of your values, your ethics, um, and all of those things that enhance not only who you are, but are supposed to enhance the people around you. And then emotional literacy in terms of understanding yourself emotionally, understanding when you're not doing well, understanding mm -hmm. 
your feelings may be oppressive in this person's experience. Understanding, um, understanding what it actually means to be trustworthy. Understanding what it actually means to be a friend. Understanding um, the pressure that you may be bringing on this other person yeah. in terms of friendship and, and, and whatnot. I think we don't teach that type of emotional literacy to our children understanding themselves and understanding their self-value and their self-worth you know like the time when i was in brooklyn and we was at our auntie's house and yvonne and i um Rhea and i were sitting next together she was watching tv i was on my phone um sending some emails and then she said um she said oh so you can have big thighs and still be attractive and i looked up at the tv to see what she was looking at and it was serena serena yep. was just explaining you know and Serena was just like the beautiful, you know, just the black mm -hmm. goddess that she is. A million miles of legs. Yes. And I looked at her, Serena, and I looked at me and I'm like, yeah, baby, of course you can have big thighs and still be attractive. But she was growing up within a context of, in, you know, growing up here in Australia where everything is just defined by matchstick women. Yes. You know what I mean? yes. And so it was actually defined. And so I think about making, you know, emotional literacy and spiritual literacy is about making people understand how sometimes the definitions that we find around us may not actually be the might not actually be healthy ones for us uh, and might not be healthy ones in 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 our space you know so yeah and and um and so i think i think that the mental health implications the mental health and emotional implications of having to search for this one but not understanding that being being that one and finding that one means finding somebody who has a clear understanding of number one and, and first and foremost their humanity, their need for growth, their need for depth, their their need to expand themselves, their need to be much more aware and much more in touch um, with 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 who they are and how they are and how that affects you know, the way in which they live within the world around them. I think all of those things um, goes into um, finding the one, being the one. And if you're not willing to do that, then I think the mental health impl implications are going to be dire for you. Because, like I said, you're only going to have superficial relationships. Yeah. You know, I had a friend and he had this list of, and this is a friend that I met when I was in, in university in Jamaica. And he had yeah. a list. Um, of women and of, of the woman that he wants and I met him 27 years ago and you know on that list was remember from the film Boomerang no. I remember, that, remember, that, remember that one with the feet that was on his list what, what do you mean you yeah, had the film Boomerang yeah and then there was something about toes in there yeah that was on yeah. his list woman no. with no no but yeah 27 years later, that guy is still single. He's waiting for the right, the right, the right five digits on the foot. <laughs> he should see mine. <sighs> I'm still walking. <laughs> Somebody said here, how do people reconcile with the possibility that they will not meet the one? Oh. This is a Have you resided with that fact or how do you know it's a possibility that you were not? I don't know, I'll throw it out there to you, Ed. How do you, how do you, how do you reconcile? How do you reconcile? Um, I, I think you reconcile it by saying, all right, I might not find the one, but am I the one? Am I still whole? Oh. Am I still a whole person? You know what I mean? Am I still a whole beating heart you know what i mean if i never find that one does that mean that my life does not have meaning mm. does it uh, i do not have any type of future if i do not find that one does that mean that i cannot be a parent if i do not find that one does it mean that i cannot be a friend if i do not find that one does it mean all the other things in life that i aspire to be that i will never be you know and i'm not making and, and i'm not actually um and i'm not 
I'm not dismissing the importance of all of us wanting to find that one. I'm not, I'm not dismissing that at all. I can't conceive of life. You see, I'm even c trying to conceive it now, and it's yeah. making me f emotional. Yeah. I cannot conceive of life or of a life without Yvonne in it. I yeah. don't even know how that life is even lived. Yeah. I don't even know how that life is even lived. Um, so I'm not making light. I'm not making light. And I think everybody, I think that everybody wants that. Um, but if there is no Yvonne in my life, do I cease being a person? Do I cease having value? Do, I, do, do my gifts cease? Do, do my strength cease? Um, do... Is, is my ability to make that contribution to the world, is it destroyed because I don't? Because I don't have that person? No. You know, God made two whole people. He didn't make two half people. And give, you know, he didn't make half, half a person and give half a person to half a person. He made two whole people and gave two whole people to two whole people. And so I'm still whole. And if you never find that one, you are still whole. Mm -hmm. I know we've done a disservice to you as far as the church is concerned in making yeah. you feel that you are less of a human because you are not married and you do not have children. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, we make you feel that way. On top of the fact that you may feel, I'm at that stage in my life when, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to do this. You know what I mean? Um, you know your body clock may be gone from quartz to analog and you can hear it ticking, <laughs> you know? Um, um, and then for men who stay single so long that in the end, they just don't, they're not able to trust anyone. And the person that they should have been with was, was like, it was like the one you should have been with was the one three relationships ago. You actually missed the one. <laughs> mm. You actually missed the one and you've just ended up with this one. Yeah. You know. Um, so yeah. both of us, are, you're both in, in, in dangerous spaces. But if, if you never do meet that one, then you are still a whole, you are still a whole person. I love that. Still a whole person. Totally answered. I've got a question for you. Um, it's a personal question. Mm -hmm. You ready? Uh, Somebody say here, I don't, I don't, I don't totally agree. Um, share, share the, share the sleigh. I don't think that's how we should answer this complex question. I'm not sure which part you didn't agree with. Um, Wayside, Wayside story. That's a great name. Wayside. <laughs> oh, it, it was share the sleigh says you reconcile it by submitting to the will of God and truly being open to his will for your life. Those single have less distractions and more time to do God's work. So she's responding. So oh, Wayside oh, Story is responding to that comment. Oh, okay then. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And you can do that as well. And, and yeah, you can do that as well. You can, yeah. you can do that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that. Oh, I get it. So I think, so I don't think yeah okay so I, I don't agree I, I'm not sure if, if I agree and I don't want to kind of have disputes with the listeners but um, I think from Wayside Story's position it's a little bit insensitive because the, the, the yearning to be in a relationship is a very powerful force in it. life it's it's, 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 um, it's, it's, a it's a god given it's a god given force so so it, it, it's not that you can just switch that off and say, well, I've got God's work to do. I, I wish it were that simple. Some people can do that. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess whilst we are single, it is fair to say that you still have to be preparing in some capacity to be with someone. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and to do that whilst entertaining the notion that you might not find anybody mm -hmm. is a man of conundrum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to be with people, period. You know what I mean? Um, Kishoba said, right, because sometimes we think we've found the one, we get married, then we get divorced. So, yeah, but we're still a whole person. Yeah. We're so, we ask for God's will, but don't want to accept it at times. 
singledom is one avenue of life. I'm not saying the desire isn't there. Um, more so, what do we do if it doesn't happen? If it doesn't happen, you just continue living. You know, you know what's interesting? I, yeah. I'm, 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 sorry, sorry, let me, let me just say, because um, it keeps cutting out while we're talking, sorry. Um, I'm responding to that, that last comment there, and I'm thinking, we don't actually know if we'll be single until, <laughs> you know, until a very late stage in life. Um, if you're, say, if you're, if you're average and I'm mid-40s, you still don't know if you're going to be single, but I think that the walking in the Christ that we're trying to explain and explore is the best preparation, one of the best preparations we have for the possibility that we will be in a relationship. Mm -hmm. Being single for 45 years is no joke. Um, and but, even, yeah, go ahead. If, does that mean you've never loved? Say it again. If you're single for 45 years, does that also mean that you've never loved? You've never no. felt the for love mm -hmm. you never put your heart out there to understand how your heart loves it never worked out but I do understand what it means to love I do understand my capacity for love I do yeah. understand what it means to desire deeply madly truly I'd, yeah I'd, I'd, I, I, I understand that you know um, yeah just because you, you may not be with, with that one specific person you know let me switch off these false lights uh, you see the <laughs> morning has broken <laughs> <laughs> you know um just because just because you you don't you're not with that one person that you see out the rest of your life with it doesn't mean that you'll never um experience what it is to love um uh, yeah yeah but anyway you said you had a question I do. Uh, it's a personal question for you. Mm -hmm. um, tell us, you, you spoke of earlier on of the work that needs to go in to make the one mean anything. Mm. Can you share, this is on, 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 on the spot now, can you share an experience of you putting in the work? An example oh. experience. Hold on, I've, I've got a book of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, in there. I, when I was, when I was, I was raised, I was raised within a community of, of, a, of a large family, you know, which is so ironic when I only have one child. <laughs> um, but I remember when Yvonne and I first got married um, and we used to travel everywhere and see the world together. Um, I, I, had to, I had to come to terms with the fact that I had married a woman who wanted to travel and see the world with me, wanted to see the world with me while I was... Yeah, I want to see the world with you, bro. Um, um, I want to see the world with you, Trees. But I, I would, I would love my bro to. I would, I would so love to go to this place, part of the world, with my brother Simon. You know what I mean? Because growing up, we just never did. We'd never done that. Yeah. And Yvonne was like, "What? Well, I didn't marry you for you know for you to go on holiday <laughs> with you. I married you to see the world with you." And I'm like, "Yeah, babe, I, I, I understand that." And I literally had to put the work in of setting aside my desire to do everything within community and figure out what it meant for her because she was raised by just her gran. Yeah. So she's just raised in a space of two while I was raised in a space of five. You know what I mean? Then with nieces and nephews around me all the time that were only like, four and five years younger than me you know so they're growing up we're all growing up together so for me everything was communal and i had to really put the work in in terms of coming to understand um her need to have that space 
her need to have that space of exclusivity with me. Mm. While I was like, yeah, we can be exclusive with all of us together. And she was like, no, I need you to be exclusive here just with me. This is what I need in this space, you know what I mean? Because for her growing up, watching her parents split, having to live with her, um, with her, with her grand, you know what I mean? Watching her father now marry somebody else and start a family who, who she loves and who love her, you yeah. know, and she's got younger siblings. But it was me coming to understand that hair, um, this was important to her. Um, but then at the same time, it was her actually understanding that I'm always going to feed into this, but this is also important to me. Yeah. And, and that literally took about eight, nine years. Wow. <laughs> this is the work, bro. Yeah, it literally took about eight, nine years. And um, um, I wanted to go on, I was invited to go somewhere to speak in that lot. And and they they had two tickets. And, uh, they asked, "Do you want to bring bring your wife and that lot?" And I said, "Sure." And and she was said, "No, nah, take Simon, take your brother." Wow. Look at that! Look at that! Like, swings and roundabouts. Yeah, yeah, it's literally swings and roundabouts. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, yeah. So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, for me, it's, it's that. Um, and then dealing with my own selfishnesses. Um, dealing with my own selfishness of, <sighs> of the ways in which, um, I, I see. I see the world and not forcing anyone to see the world in which I see the world, but the pressure of work, the pressure of calling, um, the pressure of my own expectations and then those expectations being dashed and having to, to, to kind of pick myself up and, you know, remembering to continue to stand my ground and fight my, my battles like a man and not do my dad's thing and just retreat into himself and retreat away. Yeah. You know what I mean? But actually to stay in this space and actually now talk this thing through. No, all right, you're going to come with me on this one. And remembering, mem remembering to do that and remembering that it is essential to the way in which we're able to grow. Yeah, for me, that, that has been putting the work in. So even though we got to year 27, it's still remembering that my DNA still exists yeah. and my selfishness is still exists and, you know, my, my, the things that I've cultivated and inherited still exist and, um, and they exist in a way that they still seek to affect um, being the one the one that I and 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 loving the one who is the one that I have, and then this environment in which we are, you know what I mean. We and I were journeying last night. We um we we went to do some exercise. We drove, and then we did our exercise, and we came home. Yeah, and it was beautiful. And we were sitting in the car, and we were just joking about her playlist. Because her playlist went hip hop to reggae, hip hop to reggae, hip hop to reggae. <laughs> you know, she was drawing down, believe me, she was drawing some card, especially on the reggae side, you know what I mean? She was like drawing some old school card. I'm like, we know about them tune there. <laughs> we know about them tune there. You know, and, um, <laughs> uh, and we were in the corner, and on her playlist came um, Dennis Brown, Lovers Found Its Way in our hearts today, you know what I mean? And um, it was... We should take a moment, you know? <laughs> <laughs> choose, bro. Anyway, anyway, go on. I really, I've, I've, I, I, you know, as a father, I just felt a real deep sense of pride in her, in her choice, in her life. I, I know that feeling. 
And I looked at her and I said, I love you, you know that, yeah? And, and she looked at me and she said, I love you too, Dad, you know? And then we just drove on, you know? And it's, it's, about, the, it's about the protection of that. You see, I'm starting to feel emotional again. Mm. She's real now. Mm. Mm. I think it's about, the, it's about the protection of that and um, being mm. willing to put the work in the continued work yeah that that you don't break that and um and you can't put that work in on your own no no you can't put that work in on your own and um because that's where life is you know? yeah that that's where life is and 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 that's where love um like really rests for all of us um mm. yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the reason we're having deep, frank conversation about this, and we're, I'm, I'm stunned today because usually I can talk for Britain, but I can't today, mm. um, is that we want to give people hope, hope in this time uh, when we're exposed. Do you know what I mean? We're in close proximity, we're locked in, we have to be transparent and open, and that there's a hope. What gonna, what's going to come out of that transparency? Do you know what I mean? Um, and that hope is that we'll be able to do the work. Mm. We've blown the lid on love. Mm. And we've blown that lid and said, in this box is stuff you're going to have to work on. Instead mm. of hitting the present, it's like, no, no, no. The present is opening the box and working on what's in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, and uh, a lot of people feel they would look at, you know, couples and all this couple goal thing, relationship goals, not understanding the work that has to go behind that, Amazing. and the state power and the emotional intelligence and the spiritual efficacy, the spiritual intelligence, the staying power, fighting against your very DNA. Yeah, so it has yeah. to go into that. You know. Yeah. So glad that you have been a part of blowing the lid on love as we know it. Because this is real love. Real love is digging deep. Yeah, and um that's what living mm -hmm. is. That that's what living is. You see the selfie of the couple, you don't know the work that it takes to go in to be that couple. No. You know what I mean? And I think what people want is the selfie love, but yeah. without the work without the work of what it takes. Doesn't exist. Yeah, yeah. People, people don't even know that Teresa and I have it so deep. Yeah, that we will take the most loving picture in the world, and we ain't even talking. Say, we could do a video. Yeah. But, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. I don't even think you scratch the surface of what you just said. <laughs> Because I know I heard you said that I know what you're talking about. You're not talking about faking it. No. What? Come on. No. About faking it because we truly do love each other. But yeah. right now I can't stand you and you can't stand me. But yeah. man, this is a really nice spot. Babe, come, let's take a picture. <laughs> come on. <laughs> yeah. Come, let's take a picture. This is real. We've got a few pictures like that. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a few videos like that. A few videos yeah. like that. And why are we going to show you that? You can't help us. Yeah. Why are we going to show you that? Yeah. You can't help us. So, yeah. some, of our, some of our YouTube playlists from a few years back is born. Yeah. Born, born in conflict. Yeah. 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 And it's the outtakes you ain't seen. <laughs> um, what's this? This Miss um, Declutter. Miss Declutter. Yeah. Declutter, Declutter and Clean. Hey, yeah. Let's go. please explain the list issue. So, what if you have um, a list of qualities and beliefs, but he only lives up to some of them, and he is not your type? However, your heart is telling you that he is. <laughs> well, he actually is, or he isn't. You know what I mean? When you say he is, he's he's not your type, what 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 does that mean? Yeah, he's not your type, because you said. He's not your type, but your heart is saying, oh, he may not look a certain way. He may not be as tall as the person that you've always um, believed um, you wanted, you know. He may not be as dark 
he may be a bit too red, you know what I mean? He may be white, you know, he may be another ethnicity, you know. Um, when you say he's not your type, he's not your type on that list of, of, of things that you've always looked for. Um, but your heart is telling you that this person is. Well, you know, I think we answered this question already. Is he willing to put in that work to be that person? Understanding what it is that you've always aspired to find in a person and what it is that you're aspiring to be. Because some people want to, they want to find something that they're not willing to be. Now, I want an educated woman so that I can stay home and be an uneducated, ignorant man. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the educated woman don't want that. You know <laughs> what I mean? Um, or I want to be an educated man. You know what I mean? But I don't want a woman that is as educated as me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I think, I think so you have to... You, you have to in a large degree, be what it is that you're looking for. You have to be what it is that you're looking for, you know. And um, and so if they're not, if if, they're, if it's not on your list and he's not your type, but you see that there is great things in this person and they're willing to build on it and they're willing to journey with it, then, yeah, stay in there and see where the conversation goes. See where the conversation goes. If they're not willing to be any of those things, you need to pick up your heart and 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 like your name says, <laughs> declutter and <laughs> <laughs> you need to declutter clear and out. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah. And it's you know, I'm, I'm I'm very I'm very reflective tonight. I am listening to you. This is um, yeah. I don't know, but I I, I sit back on a, a lot of tonight's discussion. And I'm, I'm feeling that you are coming from a very deep place. Mm. Um, oh. It's different. It's different. Yeah. yeah. If I'm, yeah. if I'm, if I'm, if I'm quite I true. I love who I've become, mm. but I hate my humanity still. I hate the things that linger, that 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 could threaten. You know what I mean? And those are the things that I have to just war with and battle with. And, um, you know, just in the words of St. Paul, bring into submission. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that I don't, I don't, we don't have, we don't have a fragile ecosystem. Our ecosystem is strong. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, if, if we don't work on who we are, we can just put um, yeah, it's a daily battle, bruv. Um, um, if, if you can put unnecessary stress on that ecosystem and, and that isn't, um, that is something, that isn't something that I want to do. So, you know, it, with me, it's always a love hate relationship with myself. Anyway. Yeah. You know, I have, I, I, yeah, I have to say I have that love hate relationship. Um, yeah. With yeah. And, I, and I think of the words of of of, of Christ and to Saint Paul as well. Um, My grace is sufficient. I'm begging him, take this away, take this thing away, take these things, take this bag of stuff. And he's like, no, I'm going to leave you with it. But my mm -hmm. grace is enough to manage it. No, I ain't taking it away. I'm leaving it right there. Yeah, I'll keep you. Home, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because if I take it, you're going to always think it's about you. Yeah. But you really think you're the man. You know yeah. what I mean? You know, and I already sent that song into the culture. Don't believe the hype. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, public enemy, <laughs> for Christ working through you. you <laughs> I already sent that song into the culture. Don't believe the hype. You know. Don't believe you know? the hype. <laughs> is there? Let me ask you. Is there, therefore, a biblical blueprint of the one? <laughs> One questions, man. Oi. Hey, Lord, is there a biblical I'm waking up now. of the one? Um, oof, I think there are snatches of it. That's why I love the Bible. I think there are snatches of it. You know, I think there's the idea with um, um, Jacob and Rachel. You know what I mean? Um, 
Um, Jacob, J Jacob being a trickster, ending up in a family of tricksters, but loving this girl enough to work seven years for her. You know, fourteen. Um, yeah, well, work seven years in order to marry her, and then on the end of the night, be tricked into marrying her daughter, um, marrying her sister. Uh, you know what I mean? And then having to work another seven years, um, but being willing to stick out and 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 do that work in order to be with that person. Um, um, in, in order to be with that person. I mean, despite the complexities of the relationships with the two of them. You know what I mean? Because Leah is the one who isn't desired, you know, but Leah is the one who is fruitful. Mm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jacob, um, Rachel finally does have the son um, that Jacob um, loves. You know what I mean? Um, in terms of Joseph, yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but it's Leah who has Judah. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that's what we get. The one. Rejected. That's what we get, the one. It's, yeah, the, through whom we get the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so while God, while God sticks in our story, God doesn't play our games. You know what I mean? God does find value in the one who is rejected um, and the one who stays unloved and the one who doesn't end up with the heart of the person, but God still will bring a Messiah through that person. Oh, yeah. my God. God. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I think David. David is another one of the the one. You know, right at the end of David's life, because you know David as that lover and um and 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 you always know David through that whole story about Sheba. Yeah. Yes, we do. Right at the end of David's life, there's a story of David where he's old. <laughs> and he's cold in the bed. Yeah. And they put that they put that um naked young girl in yeah. the bed with him. You know what I mean? And you're like, gosh. You know what I mean? Because, you know, the blood never stops for a man. The blood blood will find its way. You know what I mean? It may get halfway there, but it's, it's still <laughs> trying. <laughs> yeah. um, but then the writer makes it clear in the story that David never troubled a girl. She was just his hot water bottle. Yeah. You know? And they just made it, yeah, yeah. You know, they just, you know, he they wanted it to be clear that this was something that he had, he had, may have struggled with lifelong, but he got the victory. Oh. And so even down into your old age, you can put that work in and, and that work, yeah, you're putting that work into your old age, but victory comes even in your old age, you know what I mean? Um, I talked about that with 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 um, with my dad. That sometimes um, there comes that stage in your life when all that you have left to give your children is the distilled learning, the distilled learning that yeah. comes from mistakes and loss. But it's still something that you can pass on. Yeah. Um, I, I I don't think I I don't. Somebody might have to help me on this one. I don't think that I've seen one complete picture of that consistent love of the one um, outside of um, the story of Jesus in the human, in, in the human drama. I think the story of Jesus in the human drama from creation to the cross and beyond is the story of consistent and persistent love yes. that I see as the one, you know what <laughs> I mean? Yeah. That he creates, he creates, Two people with his heart, they reject his heart, get their own heart, declare war on him, <laughs> and pass on this selfish, self-preservationist heart to their children. But his heart towards them never stops, yeah. never changes. stays the same. You know what I mean? And he just chases. He chases. We are not chasing God. We are chasing the best version of God that will sustain how we want to be. God is the one who is chasing us. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and I feel that that best example of the one is shown 
in the way God journeys with all these people throughout that biblical narrative. Yes. The way he speaks in their heart, the way he transforms them, the way even he cannot sometimes work with them. And he has to just pull back and say, all right, God, do you, you do you. Yeah. There is I can do to help you because mm -hmm. you do want to be loved by me. You do not want to be loved in this way. Mm -hmm. You do not want to be transformed by this love. So you're just going to have to do you, you know? And, um, so for me, yeah. Uh, and I think that's why I love the Bible. I think that's why I love the Bible because the Bible is just real about who we are. Yes. <laughs> but then it's also beautifully real about who we can be. Yeah. Within, yeah. within that narrative. Of that. Yeah. 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 It's the narrative of love. You, you see that deep pockets of, of love. You see that deep pockets of 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 commitment you know what i mean um that woman um with with when with her children you know the woman who had the child and the and the other woman's child died in the night and she went yeah. to solomon and yeah. and, and said oh I'll take the take the sword and just kill kill the child shut it in half and the woman said no 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 just get a woman a child get a woman yeah. a child it's all right and the other woman's like no 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 cut it in half and solomon said no that ain't your <laughs> yeah yeah you see that depth of that motherly love and that human love. Um, yeah. So, so we, we see we see glimpses of the one within us. Oh, we see glimpses of the one within us. We see glimpses of the one. Yeah, yes. within us. Yes. Yeah. And and um, I think that I heard Yvonne lecturing um, with her students the other day. And, you know, she's a cardiac physiologist by, yeah. by a trade historically. And she said the heart is actually two separate organs. The heart is one organ split into two. But it's those two that beat together to make one heart. Wow. <laughs> I was like, I was sitting here listening to her. Sermon. Like, <laughs> brother. Sermon. Brother. Come on. You know, um, but there are two, <laughs> two holes, each one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, obviously, you need both in order to work, but I thought it was just a beautiful, yeah. I thought it was just a beautiful description, you know what yeah. I mean? Beautiful description of, of who we are. Um, We've got a question pinned here, or is it a statement that says, if it was taken away... We wouldn't build resilience and have the learnings. That's, that's hard. That's the struggles. I suppose that's the struggles they're talking about. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, Luke. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't, you need you need struggles. You need you need um, pressure. You need arguments. You know, even yeah. I was um, doing a, 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 a doing a, a, a session with young people um, in Sydney, Sydney conference, they did a whole thing on relationships. So we did communication and intimacy. And if I'm saying, it's, you need arguments. Yes. <laughs> yeah, arguments and conflict is not only inevitable, it's actually necessary. <laughs> War is necessary in a relationship. What has to be in place are your rules of engagement. Yes. <laughs> The way you wore. That's the way you bow. Perfect. Mm -hmm. that's, that's a perfect statement. Yeah, yeah, but the war itself, oh no, you need it. Yeah, yeah. You need it in order to, to, to get rid of the superfluous, the surface. Yeah. Um, you need it in order to get rid of the shallow so you can get to the deep. Um, you need it to scorch the earth. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you need it to scorch the earth so that. Break up fellow ground. Break it up. Uh, fresh things, can, you, fresh things can grow, but it's yeah. the way in war. You know what I mean. You can't war for the destruction of each other. You know mm -hmm. what I mean. Not a war for the destruction of the things that are seeking to destroy each other. Yes, yes. No, we got we got someone. Someone's pro prophesied it. <laughs> <laughs> when are you four gonna get together and write a book? It would be a great book, just a thought. Hey! Hey, listen, let's do this, man. Let's do this. This is Miss 
This is misty, clatter and clean. You're going in, mate. Hey, listen. I think I think that she's um 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 yeah yeah. Um, Amberlina said, um, tongue in cheek. It's how you manage to coexist um, without without causing damage to each other. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'm conscious of the time, but in here, somebody says here, it is in those moments. You see people's true self and their attentions for you and their innermost thoughts and minds. That's true. And you see your own as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That comes out. Totally comes out. But when people turn around and say, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. No, you did. Yeah. <laughs> what you actually mean to say is, I didn't mean for it to hurt you as deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or I didn't mean it was going to cut you that deep. <laughs> I meant for it to cut you, but uh, I didn't realize it would be that deep. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's in those moments when you see that person um, and you see that person cut you that deep. Um, the question is, will that person be, will that person have the emotional intelligence and the love for you to realize, no, nah, I went way too far then, man. I just, I went too far, you know? Yeah. And this is, this is, sorry, sorry, this, 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 is the, this is the, this is the topic, the one, this is what the one is, yeah. it is everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is what the one is, yeah, you know. It is it, not, it is not, it, it is not a supernatural plucking out of a multitude of people to make you feel good. Mm -mm. It, is, it is now the beginning of work. Mm. Mm. We have six minutes Philippa, left. Philippa said, what about being with someone that manages to bring out the worst parts of each other? That's what it is, man. For but now. this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the thing, Phil. <laughs> All right. We both bring out the worst parts of each other. Okay. Now that they're all out there, are you two willing to work on those worst parts so that they no longer exist so you can actually bring out the best parts of yourselves? That, that, is, the, that is the thing. That is the one. I love this one, but he brings out the worst parts of me. All right, then. Well, that means there's stuff in you that exists that aren't good. Mm. I, 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 I love this man, but he brings out the worst parts of me. I love this woman, but we bring out the worst parts in each other. That means there are things in you that exist that are not healthy. But yes. now that you've brought them out and you see what they are, are Let's you willing it. to work on that? And if I you are that. willing to work on that, that is the one. Yes, I love that. Bro, that was, that, 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 really that was book worthy. That was like New York Times bestseller kind of title. We, yeah. we, we might we might have to transcribe our stuff, man. <laughs> Philippa, Philippa's, Philippa don't even give us a thumb up. She just said, mm. mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Philippa. She's talking about, she's, she's giving you a heart straight. Oh, you get a couple of hearts with it. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right, then. Bro, listen, man. Um, you know we're going to catch you again. We're serious about the book, too. We're, we're we are. About... I, we might have to I appreciate that. We, we might have to transcribe. We might have to transcribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We appreciate. It. We've been, we've been. You got four, four minutes. We got four minutes. Yeah. Can you give us before you wrap up? I just want to say, we've been flawed. Yeah. You know what I mean? As I said, we're usually like quick fire questions. We're ready, but I've had to really sit down and just take it all in. Even though I found the one, you know what I mean? I still had to take in, and I still learned from this. So I had to just. I had to lend my my ears had to come first before my mouth today. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so when you said, "Oh gosh, you're not going to tag team," <laughs> this was a this was a counselling session like from twenty years prior. Do you know what I mean? Um, it was it was it was rich to my heart. You know, it was it was warm. And even even Philippa's last comment. Yeah. yeah. If, it, if, you, if the worst comes out of you, then it's time to deal with it. It brought everything to yeah yeah yeah. It brought everything yeah. into. It did. Yeah. it did, it did. So I'm, I'm reflecting. Up like that, because you know, Philip is just like, mm, 
She's not letting off, man. She's got it in there. So can you give us a sentence um, to all the listeners who are maybe looking for the one just um, j- just to clack a close of thoughts for them? There is a story in each and every one of us written daily on the pages of our lives in the ink of experience. Within that person, you find the one for yourself. Find that person who's willing to see their story, work with their story, and join their story to your story. And if they're not willing to, hey, continue to write your story and take your story somewhere else. This is free, people. <laughs> not for long. You won't be free for long. I'll not for that. long. But this is free. And we have to talk, man. People are, people are asking if this is being recorded. It is being recorded and it will be on YouTube. And some of the other videos that we've done with Eric Quarantine Time. But this is for free, people, but not for long. We thank you yeah. for your support and your love. We thank you oh. for, your, for staying with us, for the questions that you've sent out to us, for giving yeah. us, um, helping us find clarity. We thank you, Eddie, for waking up so early all the way in Australia. Mm. <laughs> we'll we are getting ready next door, man. I'm the driver to school in a minute. Yes, yes, wow. yes. <laughs> Thank you, guys. I appreciate you, man. We'll talk, talk in a minute. Through. We'll talk in a minute, bro. Yeah, we'll talk soon. All right, love you. Blessings. Bless Bye. 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 Oh, man. Guys. Okay, look. Shut it. We just said it's not going to be free for long. <laughs> We're, I am heavy. Um, we're, sh- we're shattered, man. This is this is this is this is. Uh, it's heavy, but this is deep. we'll see you on the weekend. We'll see you on Saturday. I'm not sure what time on Sabbath. Um, it's in the uh, late afternoon, I think. Who's that again? Parkside. Oh, okay. We'll yeah. be talking to. Uh, uh, we'll be with Parkside, answering some meaty questions, I guess. Yeah. About this whole journey of life and God and relationships and perspective. So we'll see you on the weekend. Um, we're going to do it about three times a week. It's it's heavy. And it's a lot of work as well. And it's a lot of video editing as well. But um, yeah. And life is still happening, but it's, it's been a pleasure. Uh, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Mm. Um, but we, we really thank you. and We really respect your commitment. Mm. Um, spread the word, please. Share, like, subscribe. Go on the YouTube channel, This Is Marriage. Share this channel, share the freeness, share the wisdom that is coming out, share the fact that we have to deal with each other's quirky parts of each other's behavior. But we love you all and thank you so much. You put me off my feet. Bye. <laughs>